Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Performance Podcast. Uh, I'm really excited to share um, today's podcast about essential oils uh, during massage and uh, outside in your everyday life. Uh, before going to the podcast, uh, what is new in sports performance? Um, what is new with our team? Uh, how are we doing? How are you doing? How are we helping our communities? Uh, there's a lot of great things happening. Uh, for those of you who don't know, maybe you're not in our, um, our private Facebook group or you haven't been into the clinic in a long time or maybe you're not even a client yet. Uh, we have a lot of good things happening. Uh, one of our missions this year is to uh, increase our community outreach and um, join the greater San Diego community and Chula Vista community. So uh, I think this year we have about 12 events planned that we're gonna be spending our time uh, with local businesses and supporting our local community. So <clears throat> if you're one of those communities and, and one of those businesses, uh, we're really excited to partner with you. Uh, if you're ever interested and you're in San Diego and, and maybe you know a company, you know a school, you know a running group, uh, a store or a, a small or local business that could benefit from you know help with uh, workshops or ergonomics or uh, for what we call tune-ups or whatever it is, um, we're offering those to our community. Um, at no cost and really for us it's uh, about serving the community and and that is a very important for us and so that's our our new year's uh, uh not resolution but our new year's uh, focus uh and uh, we're really excited about that all right so that's uh, really what's brewing in the background uh we have our second location in san diego uh if you've been to that location uh that's been uh growing and we're really excited about that uh just to meet more community members so um all is good in our world all right on to the podcast uh this uh topic uh, was brought up by one of our uh, team members an amazing massage therapist Denise, and uh the title is three benefits of using essential oils during your massage. And really what it comes down to is the three, like there's benefits of essential oils that happen to be either through your massage or in your everyday life. So, um, you know, one thing to note uh, that anybody who is enjoying essential oils, just know that anytime that you work with essential oils, just know that it could burn or irritate your skin. So when we talk about these things, just know that you can you can dilute the essential oil and mix it with a what we call a carrier oil. Um, and not all oils are, are meant to be applied to your skin. So you really need to understand the properties of these oils and make sure you're using them properly. So I, I have to get that out of the way before uh, we make these recommendations and just overall uh, notes on um, how to use them to their best advantage. So like what, what are essential oils? Like, why did they help you? And, and I have to say, uh, I was, me personally, I, I wasn't the biggest, um, uh, I wasn't the most interested in when I started uh, into essential oils. And in, the, in, in general, they're, they're consumed as, you know, aromatherapy, there's many, many benefits through it. And I, I wouldn't say I was skeptical, I just wasn't, um, you know, uh, too excited about them. And uh, my wife, Stephanie started uh, using them for, for many reasons. And we'll talk about them today. But just know on, on the personal side, I've had a personal journey with essential oils. Um, I can't tolerate a lot of uh, strong scents uh, because I get a headache or I, I'm just very sensitive to them. So uh, if you're like me, just know that there are different types that are available for you. Um, if your nose can tolerate it and, and you don't um, have any issues with that, then good for you. Now it's really about which one is best for you. So um, I'll go over kind of the, the main parts. Uh, so if if people ask me what are some of the main benefits that I see and what are the results that we get with clients, I think headaches is a big one. It helps relieve people's headaches. Uh, it helps improve sleep. Um, it helps re re uh, reduce uh, like nausea if that's uh, something that you struggle with. Um, so ultimately, there are three main benefits uh, to essential oils, and I'll list them out first and foremost. Number one is to reduce uh, anxiety and headaches. Now, uh, if you're listening to this, uh, we're recording this in February of 2022, and if you're listening to this, you know, coming off of, you know, post-COVID or in the middle of COVID, whatever you want to call it, uh, post-pandemic, we've noticed a lot of people's mental health has been challenged. And um, we uh, began carrying essential oils because of that. We saw that so many people uh, were having uh, challenging times 
with their mental health, um, whether it's anxiety or headaches or whatever it may, may be. And so, uh, so, so how, how does aromatherapy work? Um, it, it's thought to help by stimulating, um, you know, smell receptors in the nose. And that sends kind of messages to the nervous system, uh, to something, a fancy term called your limbic system, uh, the part of the brain that controls your emotions. So uh, by having, you know, a certain smell hit your receptors, uh, that would also help control your emotions. And that's according to the Mayo Clinic, a uh, very respectable uh, community uh, in, in the medical world. And so um, how does it help reduce anxiety, it's through, you know, we, we said the smell to emotion uh, connection. And so there's different uh, essential oils that do help. And uh, you can find this on the internet, but ultimately, you know, lavender, orange, uh, chamomile, sage, um, those are great uh, concoctions uh, or mixing or blending of uh, a sense that will help relieve relieve like anxiety and, and those type of things during your sessions. So, so they're fantastic. So reduce anxiety and headache, number one. Uh, number two is to reduce inflammation. And we know that in general, massage helps kind of your lymphatic system, your body's like drainage system, uh, circulate and, and move all that waste and inflammation from your body. And that's one of the greatest benefits. Now, there's certain essential oils that can assist in stimulating that same drainage system. And uh, the great ones for joint inflammation are frankincense, turmeric, uh, ginger, peppermint, eucalyptus. Uh, and they're all great for anti-inflammatory uh, benefits. And it really just depends on, you know, which one. I, and people ask this all the time, should I try uh, ginger first or peppermint? Or I heard this one was great. Honestly, I, I think yeah, yeah, it's a trial and error. And, and you want to kind of do as much research as you can, make sure that you're not sensitive to it. There's no negative side effects for you. Um, and find the one that works best. And you can always find them in smaller bottles and, and talk to enough people. And, and honestly, your massage therapist support at Sports Performance would be the best resource. They'll tell you which one you, your body might feel better with. Uh, but ultimately, it might be a trial and error. And then if not, start doing your research and find a good resource. Uh, those who recommend them and use them regularly. All right. So we said uh, number one is uh, reduce anxiety and headaches. Uh, number two is to reduce inflammation. And the last one is to boost your mood. Uh, we all know we can uh, we can definitely use that. Uh, some of us use caffeine. Uh, other uh, other us uh, use essential oils. And I think that's a little bit more natural and organic and it's great. Um, so it doesn't stop with just reducing your anxiety and headache. Uh, they help boost the mood and really invigorate you as well. Um, and some of these uh, essential oils are peppermint, uh, sandalwood, and basil, and ultimately they just improve your energy and mood. And so uh, there's different concoctions and, and blends. Uh, sandalwood and cedarwood mixed together are, are great. Uh, it's almost, um, it, it's like with a little bit of almond oil as well. Uh, when you just roll that on, you can put under your, um, you know, uh, on yourself and maybe when you're having a little bit of coffee uh, when that rolls off you just put some on your nose and that'll kind of get you into a little bit more uh, energy uh, so there you have it you know ultimately um, essential oils help reduce your anxiety and your headache uh, they help reduce your inflammation they help boost your mood and um, ultimately comes down to you can do a lot of these things through um, you know coffee or or caffeine or any other form of things but when we're trying to do something a little bit more natural and, um, you know, through the senses, uh, maybe you don't like putting topical things on, maybe you don't like ingesting certain things, you don't like pills. These are great ways to like help you feel better, boost your mood, reduce any headaches or anxiety you may have, and reduce inflammation. So when you combine that together with a fantastic massage, you're literally getting rid of the waste, you're uh, help reducing any stress, you're getting rid of uh, any uh, anxiety or, or headaches that you may have. And it's almost like icing on the cake. All you're doing is you're adding in, you're upgrading your experience. And so essential oils are fantastic, um, not just during your massage, but ultimately in your day to day. So if that is, is important for you and you're looking for alternatives and ways to boost that and the way that you feel, essential oils are a, I mean, that's a no brainer. It just makes sense. So 
um, anytime that you're in at sports performance uh, during your massage, or uh, maybe you're downstairs uh, with physical therapy, or you're working on a personal training session, or whatever it is, whatever health benefit you're looking to, uh, to um, conquer next, uh, you know, I think that the essential oils is a big element. And, um, you know, we will do one uh, as well on, on CBD, but there's also elements of that. Uh, we'll do that on a different podcast. We'll set, we'll separate that too. Uh, but there's different products that will help you naturally and organically. And, and as long as you're not allergic and you don't have any uh, negative uh, reactions to them, they're fantastic. So uh, which ones uh, do we use? I, I would say lavender is, uh, is kind of the go-to, uh, both for the kids, uh, my kids, uh, Alex and, and Zach and Jacob, uh, is to keep them, you know, <laughs> relaxed at the end of the night as much as possible. We use uh, lavender and um, shampoo. And uh, I know I've seen it in hotel uh, um, pillows. If you've ever uh, wondered what that good smelling pillow is, a lot of times they put they uh, put a little bit of lavender, and uh, that is just perfect to help you relax right before you go to bed. So whether you're looking for relaxation or anxiety or headaches or boosting your mood or inflammation, uh, essential oils are perfect. So uh, ask one of the team. Uh, anybody anybody on the team will will give you some good information and uh, point you in the right direction, and to see if it's the perfect fit for you. Um, if not now, uh, when when would it be a good thing? And and uh, how to best use them to your advantage. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys are well and staying healthy and active uh, with good spirits and in good mood. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we really appreciate you and, and thank you for being part of our family. This year is a really important year for us. And as I mentioned, community outreach is, is really big for us. So just look out for uh, different podcasts and, and different material and, and different content for us. Our, our, our vision is to expand our reach into San Diego and beyond. Um, I, I know we have listeners across the, across the pond in Europe and all over the world. Um, so hello to you from the Sports Performance family. Uh, uh, if there is no you, there is no us. So we really appreciate everyone who's been part of this. So uh, we will see you guys on the next episode and uh, take care. I hope you guys are doing well. Bye now.